So today I'm going to share my 2023 watch wish list with you. So out of all of the watches that I'm going to share with you, only one's readily available right now, meaning if I have the money, I can purchase it at any time. Two of them are sold out and their re-releases are TBD. And two of them I'm currently on the list for at my local AD. So in no particular order, here we go. The Rolex Oyster Perpetual 41 bright blue. So it was love at first sight for me with this watch. At the time, it was about $6,100 retail, which I would have jumped all over if it was available. But online, it was about $12,000. And there was no way, even if I had the money at the time, which I didn't, there was no way I was going to pay twice the cost at retail for that watch. I've been on the list for the OP41 Bright Blue with my local AD for about nine months now. She did say that it would take about six months to a year, so we'll see where things land in the spring. I am feeling a little bit skeptical, as I'm sure most people who are on Rolex authorized dealer lists feel, but you know, we'll see what happens. So I can already tell from having the OP36 and the Tudor Black Bay 41 that this watch is going to look so good and so beautiful on my wrist. I can't wait to get it. The current price on the Rolex Oyster Perpetual 41 Bright Blue as of January 1st is now $6,400. So it's gone up $300 in the past year. It's 41 millimeters is indicated in its name, about 12 millimeters thick. It's running off of the caliber 3230 and it has about 70 hours of power reserve. In my opinion, this is the most beautiful of the Oyster Perpetuals available at Rolex. That royal blue dial with the white gold surrounded indices and the double indices at 369, the white gold hands, the polished and brushed steel contrasts around the bezel and the case. It's just such a gorgeous watch. The Santos de Cartier with blue dial. So I have a few Cartier watches on my wish list, but this one is a recent addition that's jumped to the top of the line. I wasn't really checking for the Santos. I was really into the American, but a friend of mine recently purchased the Santos, the black version with black band, and I had a chance to try it on and I really loved how it felt on the wrist, how it looked on the wrist. So I started to explore the Santos after experiencing it on the wrist. Now I prefer a classic steel watch. So the black wasn't my style, but everything else about the watch I loved. And when I came across the blue dial version, I instantly fell in love. It actually reminded me a lot in terms of its tone of the Rolex OP41 bright blue. The Santos is 39.8 millimeters in diameter, 9.8 millimeters thick. It runs on the caliber 1847 MC and it has a 42 hour power reserve. So this watch sells at retail for about $7,500, but I have seen it on a couple other sites for between $6,500 and 7,000. So if I buy it, at a secondary market dealer or someplace like Chrono24, I should be able to get some savings when I decide to pull the trigger and purchase this watch. The Fairer Durham. So Fairer is one of my favorite micro brands. I own a Fairer that I love and I'm always checking out the site for new releases, new designs, and the Durham is one of their more recent designs that's currently sold out, but it's a really beautiful watch. It has this retro 1950s era style designed case that I really love. The dial is this beautiful contrast of salmon and gray with the plied indices, and it just looks so classic and elegant, and I think it'll make for a really great dress watch. The Durham retails at $995. It's 38.5 millimeters in diameter and 10.5 millimeters thick. 
It runs on the Salita SW216 and it has a 45 hour power reserve. The Perception by Atelier Wen. The Guilloche dial and especially the salmon color variation, that's my favorite. It's just so beautiful and to know that it was done by hand just helps to step up my appreciation for the watch that much more. When the watch becomes available, it's on sale for $2,858. It's 40 millimeters in diameter and 9.4 millimeters thick. It runs off of a Chinese movement that I'm unfamiliar with called the Dan Dong movement. And the watch has 41 hours of power reserve. So the Atelier Win Perception is the only Chinese designed watch on the list. I fell in love with this watch. It was, this was definitely another case of love at first sight. The Rolex Submariner 126613LB, also known as the Bluesy. Out of all of the Submariner variations, this one's my favorite. The Classic Black, of course, is a great watch. The Hulk, the Smurf, all of the variations that have come out over the years, they all are great but to me, they're all second to the bluesy. The contrast of the golden blue around the bezel is just so beautiful. The two-tone bracelet in combination with the bezel also looks beautiful, and I've never really been the biggest fan of two-tone watches, but this one just hits different. And then that blue dial, that bright blue dial is just gorgeous. This is altogether the total package for me in a Submariner and in a dive watch. The Blue Z currently retails at $15,600. It's 41 millimeters in diameter and 12.7 millimeters thick. It runs on the caliber 3235 and it has a 70 hour power reserve. So what watches are on your wish list for 2023? Let me know in the comments. Till next time.